Today, we are going to discuss arcs and inscribed angles. Balikan natin ang central angle. Angle BAC, angle BAD, and angle CAD. So, makikita nyo yan sa illustration natin. An angle whose sides are two radii and whose vertex is the center of the circle. So, that is our central angle. So, itong nakikita natin, ito yung center ng circle at yung dalawang radii ay sinasabi nating angle and that is our central angle. So, again, angle B, A, C, angle B, A, D, and angle C, A, D, those are central angle. Now, ano naman yung isa? May tinatawag tayong inscribed angle. So, nakikita nyo sa illustration yung angle D, C, E. That is an example of an inscribed angle. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng inscribed angle? An angle whose sides are two chords and the vertex is point on the circle. So again, there are two chords. So the chords are chord CD and chord CE. And then, the vertex is at point C. So therefore, this is an example of an inscribed angle. So angle DCE is an inscribed angle. Let's have an example. In a circle or congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding central angles are congruent. So, let us look at the illustration. So, this is our circle O. In circle O, ang sabi nga dito, in a circle or congruent circle, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding central angles are congruent. So, ito ang ating circle O. Ang ating intercepted arc ay arc PQ and arc RS. And also, arc PS and arc RQ. So, ang sabi nga doon, if two minor arcs are congruent, their corresponding central angles are also congruent. So, minor arcs, arc PQ and arc SR. In circle O, arc RS is congruent to arc PQ and angle POQ is equal to 50 degrees. Find X if arc RS is equal to 2X degree. Measure of angle POQ is equal to the measure of arc PQ. So therefore, the measure of arc RS is equal to the measure of arc PQ. So, what is the measure of arc PQ? Okay, the measure of arc PQ is equal to 50 degrees. And the measure of arc RS is equal to 2x. Now, you are going to find x. Let us solve. So, the measure of arc RS is equal to 2x. And the measure of arc PQ is equal to 50 degrees. So, let us solve by dividing both sides by 2. So, 2x divided by 2 is equal to x and 50 divided by 2 is equal to 25. Therefore, our x is 25. Now, when we check, 2 times 25 is equal to 50 degrees. 
In a circle or congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent. Chord OB is congruent to chord ON. Find the measure of, of arc OB and the measure of arc ON in circle I. So the measure of arc BN is equal to 80 degrees and so we are going to find the measure of arc OB and arc ON. Take note, the two corresponding chords are congruent if and only if the corresponding arcs are also congruent. So the measure of arc OB plus the measure of arc ON plus the measure of arc BN is equal to 360 degrees. So the reason for that, the sum of all non-overlapping arcs of a circle is 360 degrees. Now, since arc OB is equal to x degree and arc ON is equal to x degree and arc BN is equal to 80 degrees, is equal to 360 degrees. So the reason is, since chord OB is congruent to chord ON and the measure of arc OB is congruent to the measure of arc O -N. X plus X is equal to 2X plus 80 is equal to 360 degrees. We are going to combine like terms. So, 360 degrees is equal to 280 degrees. 280 degrees divided by 2 is equal to 140 degrees. So, therefore, the measure of arc OB is equal to 140 degrees and also the measure of arc ON is equal to 140 degrees. Why? Because it is said that if two minor arcs are congruent, if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent. Concept number 6. The measure of an inscribed angle equals one half the measure of the intercepted arc. Ibig sabihin, ang measure ng inscribed angle ay kalahati ng measure ng intercepted arc. So, let's have some example. In circle B, the measure of arc ET is equal to 120 degrees. And the measure of angle TEN is equal to 40 degrees. Now, we are going to find the measure of arc TN and the measure of arc ME. Paano ba natin hanapin ang measure ng arc TN? Balikan natin ang sabi, ang measure ng inscribed angle ay equal sa kalahati ng measure ng intercepted arc. So, ang ating inscribed angle ay angle T TEN. So, ano ba ang measure ng angle TEN? So, ang measure ng angle TEN ay equal sa 40 degrees is equal to the measure of arc TEN divided by 2. So, kalahate. Then, let us solve. So, cross multiply. So, 2 times 40 is equal to the measure of arc TN. So, what is 40 times 2? So, 40 times 2 is equal to 80 degrees. So, therefore, our uh, arc TN is equal to 80 degrees. Ngayon naman, hanapin naman natin ang measure ng arc NE. Para mahanap ang measure ng arc NE, kukunin natin yung kabuuan ng circle. So, ang sukat ng kabuuan ng circle ay equal sa 360 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, yung measure ng arc NE plus the measure of arc ET and the measure of arc TN is equal to 360. Now, palitan natin ang values. So, 
hinahanap natin ang measure ng arc NE. Ang measure ng arc TN ay equal sa 80 degrees. Ayon yan sa nasolve na natin. And then, ang measure ng arc ED ay equal sa 120 degrees. Ito yan, 120 degrees. So, pag pinagsama natin yung 80 at saka 120 degrees, tayo ay mabibigyan ng uh, 200 degrees. Or, pwede ring, yung 360, ibabawas natin yung 80 degrees at saka 120 degrees. The measure of arc NE is equal to 160 degrees. Bakit? 360 degrees minus 80 minus 120 degrees is equal to 160 degrees. So therefore, the measure of arc NE is equal to 160 degrees. Concept number 7. The measures of two or more inscribed angles intercepting the same arc of a circle are equal. In circle O, the measure of angle A is equal to 55 degrees. Hanapin natin ang measure ng angle S at ang measure ng arc ME. Kung matatanda natin ang concept number 6, ang sabi doon, the measure of an inscribed angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung, intercept, ito yung angle natin at ito naman yung intercepted arc. So, para mahanap natin ang measure ng arc MP, so, kailangan natin yung kalahati, no? Kalahati ng uh, intercepted arc. Ayun yung ating angle. So, kung ang measure ng angle ay equal sa 55 degrees at ang measure ng arc ME divided by 2, so, ibig lang sabihin na when we solve, 2 times 55 is equal to 110 degrees. So, 110 degrees, that is the measure of arc ME. So, kapag kinuha natin ang kalahati ng arc ME, ang sagot nito ay 55 degrees. So, ibig sabihin na tama yung ating uh, intercepted arc. So, again, our intercepted arc is arc ME. And our angle is angle MAE. Our angle A is equal to 55 degrees. Ngayon naman, ano naman ang magiging angle S? So, from the definition itself, ang sabi doon, the measures of two or more inscribed angles intercepting the same arc of a circle are equal. So, kung titingnan natin, yung angle S, ay meron siyang intercepted arc na arc ME. At yung angle A, ay meron din siyang intercepted arc na arc ME. So, ibig lang sabihin nun, kung ano ang measure ng angle A, ay siya rin measure ng angle S. Since ang angle A at ang angle S intercepts the same arc ME, so ito yung intercepted arc ME, so, ibig lang sabihin, ang angle A ay congruent sa angle S. So, kung ang angle A ay equal sa 55 degrees, therefore, our angle S will be also equal to 55 degrees. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig at panonood ng ating lesson today at naway may natutunan kayo tungkol sa inscribed angles.